Hey guys, what's up? This is Mel, and I'm here to talk about Supernatural, episode 1114, titled The Vessel, which premiered Wednesday, February 17, 2016, on The CW. And guys, some very startling news in this episode, so let's get started with the 10-minute clock. Uh, something new that we learned in this episode. Basically, this episode fe- focused around Dean traveling back to 1944 for the Hand of God weapon, only for it to turn out to be a dud unfortunately. So, uh, with the time travel, we learn about Delphine, who is a woman of letters um, back during um, the 40s, during the war. And um, she was the one who retrieved the hand of God from the Nazis and was trying to um, get it back to the bunker in the States, but that's when the ship went down. And apparently the Germans she took it from were part of the Thule organization. So that was the it was introduced back in episode 813. Um, so we learned about, about her from that. We learned about uh, some um, extensive warding that she does that keeps um, any supernatural interference out. Um, so there's that. So while Dean is back in 1944 trying to get his hands on the weapon of God from Delphine, um, we have Sam and Sam and Castile trying to figure out a way to get Dean back after finding out that the warding is keeping Castile well. Oh, wait. Although, Castile is really Lucifer in control. So, um, at the end of the episode, the Winchesters are completely aware of the fact that Lucifer is possessing Castile. We also find out, though, that Castile is still inside of his Jimmy Novak vessel. So, both Castile and Lucifer are in the one body, yet Lucifer is um, in control. You definitely see a struggle between the two, because at one point, Castile gains control long enough to stop Lucifer from killing Sam. Now it's kind of very it's kind of similar to episode 522 when S- Lucifer was possessing Sam and then Sam managed to take control of of his own body with Lucifer inside long enough to get him back into the cage. So it's kind of a parallel there. I really liked it, but it was such a difference between Lucifer and Castiel. I mean, obviously two separate characters but when you actually see it within a scene happening like that when you see Misha Collins switching between the two it's so distinct and I absolutely love it it's like well done for sure well done and we also finally see Crowley and apparently he is out of his suit and being treated like a pet Lucifer's pet actually he's all caged up and everything and yeah it's not a good sight for Crowley not at all so what was the most shocking moment of the episode was the fact that the hand of God, the weapon that they were searching for, was a one-hit wonder. That was kind of disappointing. I thought, like, with a weapon that's supposed to be this powerful thing, and to find out that it's only meant for one use, it's kind of like, great. What was the point in doing that then? Like, why? So it was, just, it was, it was a letdown, though. But, but I guess it kind of... It'd be too easy for them to finally get a weapon like that and then to have the pieces. I don't know. It's just It was surprising when they actually confirmed the fact that you can only use it once, which Delphine used back in 1944. But it was a good thing because Lucifer tried to use it and it didn't work for him. So there's that. Uh, so top three favorite moments of the episode. Uh, first one has to be the bunker scene. It's the first one. It's actually the web clip that they released before the episode aired. And that is basically Dean waking up again, heading for the kitchen, finding no coffee. So he tries to find milk, think it's spoiled, and then he ends up having to go to beer. And then Sam, who drank all the coffee, is hyped up enough to do all this research. I don't know. I just, for some reason, they always wake up now and have their first scenes in the kitchen. Anyone else notice that recently? It's, it seems like the kitchen is the first scene we're going to see of the bunker, if not for their bedroom. Um, so there's that. Um, and I just like it for some reason. It's just the jokes or the comments from Dean and then Sam trying to link it all the history together. It was great. I really liked it. It's very simple. It's very, yeah, very them. I don't know. Uh, next favorite scene has to be between Dean and and Delphine um, back in the 1944 um, submarine. And it was great to see how they connected and how they both understood their purpose and how as members of the Men of Letters or Women of Letters or the Letters Society, how they knew what was at stake, what they needed to have done. And I 
I wish she lived longer. I wish more could have happened between Dean and Delphine. Not not necessarily a relationship, but just like a friendship forming. Because the only woman of letters we've known officially are Dorothy. And she only stayed in one episode. And then Charlie was an unofficial woman of letters. And we saw how her relationship was with the Winchesters. So it would have been interesting to see how Delphine's relationship would have been with um, the Winchesters as well if she lived long enough. But yeah, I definitely liked her character though. It's a shame she had to die. But she died um, heroically, I guess you can say. So there's that. Uh, another favorite scene has to be um, um, Lucifer or Cast Lucifer or Cassifer, however you want to call it. Um, I definitely like we got to see him. Definitely got liked how we're getting to see not only him thinking that, okay, maybe he's not fully prepared to take on Amara, and then him trying to not only pretend to be Castiel, but try to figure out a way to work with the Winchesters when he's usually enemies against them. Against them, And then him learning new things like that spell that Sam found, it didn't, look, it didn't seem like Lucifer knew about it. So it was great to see that even he could learn something new. It was just seeing the him fighting against Cassio later on as well, the inner st struggle within and all that. So it was just very cool to see that character again because he's been gone for a few episodes actually. So yeah. Um, top three peak moments. I only really have one. It's the fact that the mission failed. I mean, they went through all that trouble to go back in time to get this weapon and only to find out that they can't use it or it's... Um, it's nullified now or something it's just it was a little it was disappointing it's like i could have gone without this episode then sadly enough which i don't like because i like the time travel episodes it's interesting to see them in the different time periods and stuff like that so yeah um so what will i remember most about this episode when i look back at the fact that uh, dean time traveled again to 1944 he time traveled to that era to that year actually in um episode 712 and it seems like Dean's always the one time traveling, so he just add another time travel trip to his list of trips he's taken. Definitely can't say he's been in 1944 twice, so there's that. Um, so random questions, moving on. Um, this actually, I was kind of wondering about this one, but... Um, okay, so this is how I'm going to think of it. Um, original timeline of 1944 is what happened in the articles that Sam found before Dean time traveled. So, original timeline. Um, Sam mentioned that the, about the German ship being, um, ha being, um, destroyed, it sunk, but it was recovered and had this big massive hole in the middle. So, we see when, um... Dean goes back to 1944 that when Delphine uses the hand of God, it ca it's what causes the German ship to go down with their ship since they were already taking too much damage from the German um, bombs and stuff like that. So my question is, when Dean, in the original version of 1944 when Dean wasn't there, did Delphine still use the hand of God to take down the der German ship that Sam read in the history books had been sunk i mean did dean traveling did dean going back in time not change anything at all because i'm wondering because obviously dean can't change the fate of those people on the ship because they still die but like he could have changed how it happened but I'm getting the sense that maybe he didn't change anything at all. He he even said that he was just a witness. So I'm just wondering if no matter whether he went back or not, the hand of God would have been used in that moment. Therefore, it would have been useless, even if it was recovered from um, the the sunk uh, the shipwreck. So what do you guys think about that? Definitely want to hear your opinion or your take about that because I'm definitely trying to rattle my head around it. Time travel always does that to me. So I just want to get the timeline straight for sure um next question is how are they going to get lucifer ejected from castiel they made it clear that Ca and cast made it clear to sam that he asked for lucifer to possess him because they because he believes that they need him to defeat amara so if castiel is still willing to be a host for lucifer then how are they going to get rid of lucifer 
I mean, it's not like when Gadriel possessed Sam. Sam didn't want him there, so he just kicked him out. Or same with Sam being Lucifer. It's just, it was kind of... I don't know. It's definitely going to be a hard um, mystery for them, for sure. And uh, moving on to predictions. And timer's done. I almost made it, guys. I almost did. So let's move on quickly, though. Based off the promo for 11-15, uh, the Winchesters are going to do some fanboying of their own over some WWE fights. Um, we also have WWE champion The Miz um, guest starring um, in the episode. So that's going to take part in the the WWE fights that Sam and Dean go to kind of as a way to uh, relive some childhood memories and to pay um, their respects to one of their um, fallen favorite fighters. So there's that. We also see in the promo that Lucifer attacks Crowley, who is now in a suit again. Don't know the reasons why, but it seems like he ta- Lucifer may not be pleased. So there's that. Overall predictions, though, we're going to have to find out a way how to defeat Lucifer, and then how to defeat Amara. The two big bads are back, and they got to figure out a way to either defeat the two of them separately, or they're going to have to use Lucifer to defeat Amara, and then they got to figure out how to defeat Lucifer. So there's that. Um, Another thing um, I think is that we're going to learn more about Dean's link to Amara and how they can use that to their advantage. Lucifer seems to think that Dean's link to Amara is important. He even said that that's why he's keeping Dean alive because of that, um, because of that connection, and that's why he was willing to kill Sam because he has no connection to Amara, no use for him. So, Lucifer definitely knows something about the connection. So it's just a matter of fact as us, the audience, and the brothers themselves finding out what that connection is and what it means exactly, and what they can use out of that. Um, so another prediction, I. S- really think we're going to see God at some point, or we have to see some manifestation of him. Maybe a voice, maybe actual comments, or maybe see Joshua, his little messenger from from heaven appear. We got to hear from God somehow. He can't just be some, he can't be the ultimate daddy leaving abandonment issue making God. It's like, no, he's got to appear at some point. He's got to I really think that God is the one that has to deal with his sister, Amara. He has to. He can't just let not only his angelic children deal with her, but he can't let all of his human children deal with her either. He has to do it. I really think that. So hopefully we get to see him again. And I'm thinking with Lucifer being a problem now, I'm wondering if we're going to see Michael again. Would they even risk releasing him just to find, just to have like another archangel go against Lucifer, or does that risk bringing about the apocalypse? Um, so there's that. And that's about it. So what did you guys think of the episode? Um, did you like it? Is there stuff you thought um, you wanted to see that didn't happen? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it for sure. Also, don't forget to check out my Tumblr page. Um, link for that is down below. I usually reblog promos, sneak peeks, episode synopses, gifs, quotes, anything like that some news in regards in regards to casting or returns of old favorites definitely can be found on my tumblr also if you want a more detailed recap of what happened in the episode a play-by-play if you will check out my live journal account the link for that down below down below sorry and that's about it so thank you guys so much for uh, tuning in i truly appreciate it means the world and i hope you come back next week to see what i have to say about the episode and until then This is Mel wishing you all a great day, great week, wherever you are. Till next time, bye for now.